One desire of an Egyptian pharaoh is to be remembered forever. As long as people continue to speak a pharaoh's name, he lives on in the afterlife. So the stories and depictions he leaves behind are grandiose, larger than life, and legendary. In the time since Howard Carter discovered his tomb in 1922, King Tutankhamun has been more than simply remembered. He's become a worldwide phenomenon. But who was this young king descended from the gods? And did his actual life match up with the images and inscriptions found in his tomb? Modern science has uncovered enough evidence to say, probably not. King Tut's family honored the royal tradition of keeping their bloodlines pure, which means they practiced incest. Mitochondrial DNA testing shows that his mother was also his aunt. This inbreeding often leads to physical disfigurements, and it seems that Tut was no exception. A virtual autopsy of the young ruler conducted in 2014 revealed evidence of a severe overbite, a curved spine, extremely slim hips, a skewed face, and atypically pronounced breasts. It's very likely that his life was one full of chronic and severe pain. Another significant finding revealed that he had a club foot. Supporting this discovery, archaeologists found over 100 walking sticks in his tomb, along with a stool designed to assist in shooting a bow and arrow. This indicates that he struggled to walk or even stand. Historically, Tut's many broken bones have led experts to suspect that he died in a chariot accident. But in reality, he was probably unable to mount a chariot at all, and many of the bone breaks might have occurred post-mortem, during embalming or the excavation. Tutankhamun also likely suffered from frequent epileptic seizures. All of these health issues were due to a genetically weak immune system inherited through his pure bloodline. This also left him susceptible to diseases. A 2010 study revealed that a malarial infection due to a broken leg is most likely what took his life. And he wasn't his family's only victim of inbreeding. Shortly after taking the throne, Tut married his own half-sister, who was possibly even his blood sister. DNA analysis of two baby girls' mummified remains revealed that the couple did conceive, likely twins. But one of the baby girls had a severe spine defect, and neither of them appeared to have been born alive. After his death, later pharaohs purged Tut from history by erasing historical references of him from monuments and temples and building over his burial site. Ironically, he would centuries later become the most famous Egyptian pharaoh in history. Scientists will continue to learn more about this boy king shrouded in legend and mystery. And regardless of whether or not their findings support or contradict his ancient depictions, curious people will continue to be awestruck by his tomb's artifacts that tour the world to this day. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more of history's weirdness that you won't find in your textbooks. All those textbooks that you had to give back. No one has their textbooks anymore, right? I don't have mine. Anyway, there's this video here. There's this one here. There's more stuff here. There's more good stuff. If you liked it, stick around.